Okay, let's take this from the top. I'm a Christian and I am a filmmaker. I'm not necessarily a Christian filmmaker. I think who, who I am comes through in my work, uh, but it doesn't, it doesn't, I hope it doesn't label me in the idea that people think, oh, well, I know what I expect from his film, because you'll be surprised. I don't think you'll get that. Uh, you'll get uh, just a good, a good story well told. That's what I do. You bump into me enough around and you just, you just know who I am. More times than not, I've had many people say to me, wow, there's something different about you. What is this? What is this peace that you have? You know, let your light shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Not come out, proselytize and get 250 crew members to listen to a sermon, you know. We're, we're all there to do a job and they're working f with me and for me to tell a good story to the world. So I'm just grateful to be in the position I am to be able to do that. Everything that I am today is really based on uh, my faith and obedience and praying and hearing God's guiding in my life. You know, uh, 20 odd years ago, about that, I came to work at Crossroads. And uh, again, the, the idea that why I came here is because God called me to come here. Even though it was 180 degrees in the opposite direction of where I thought I wanted to go, I, was, I followed what he said to do. And I can trace uh, today what I'm doing as a motion picture writer-director working with Hollywood stars exactly back to that obedience 20 years ago for coming here to Crossroads. Because as I look at, the, at my life and all these different points in it, I can see all like the connect the dots on how these things came about believe without doubt in him and uh, you'll see amazing things because I have don't let go of, of that even if you're uh, mocked and made fun of uh, that's okay as long as you know that in your heart of hearts that you're doing exactly what he's called you to do uh, and I do because many many times in my life I've over and over again I've had uh, encouragement from him on that, to stay the path. And so it's exactly what I'm doing. That's where the greatest happiness comes from, is doing what he's actually called you to do. Go, 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 go. In the world of show business, the, the world is really business as well as show. And so there's a, a time to release these types of films. Uh, like in the winter time you'll find the, and the Christmas time you'll find the family films and in the summer you'll find the big blockbusters. In the fall and in the spring it would be the time to see a film like Trade of Innocence uh, which deals with uh, real issues uh, in a uh, you know very dark places but there's hope there's hope for sure uh, that that flows through the story and uh, it's uh, and it's done really exactly what I was setting out to do to tell a story of hope reconciliation redemption set against the backdrop of the sex trade but it's a worldwide issue it, it happens here in our country unfortunately and it's it's modern-day slavery Slavery is alive and well, and uh, you can read the statistics if you like, but behind uh, drugs and weapons is the third largest money maker of organized crime, human trafficking. I chose to do this film because I felt that it really shone a light specifically on the issue of grown men around the world buying the services of children sex which as a mother is just one of the most 
morally reprehensible, untenable things that is occurring daily across the world. And uh, I don't think people really know about it. Some movies you just need to do, and this was one of them for me. There's not a lot of movies I can think of that take on a topic this heavy. It's 10 times the reward of doing a movie that's just interesting or fun. Uh, this is a gift to be able to appear in films like this. In the movie, uh, Trade of Innocence, you'll see a scene uh, that I actually lived. Um, I was in uh, a hotel, a big prominent hotel in Phnom Penh uh, with a few members of the team. And we saw a, uh, which wasn't a father-daughter situation, we saw a date night with a man in his early 60s probably and a little girl that was about eight years old. He began to uh, just rub his hand on her legs and it's not something the dad does with the daughter. And requested a song by the band who was playing in that place, uh, Puppy Love, and played the song. I mean, I, I was beside myself, I was angry and we did what we could to uh, track him down. If you watch the film, the movie, Trade of Innocence, uh, you could put me right there in that situation, chasing this guy down with the little girl. Watch the movie and see what happened. It's very accurate in its depiction of how children are sold by unscrupulous pimps, and also how American citizens, as well as citizens of all other countries, let's not say it's just an American problem by any way, but they will go on vacation and buy a child services as part of that vacation. This is happening, it's happening all over the world. And there are children that will, won't make it out and there are children that will make it out. And our job is to change the odds. It is entertaining, okay? It's a Hollywood movie with motorcycle chases and fights and, and uh, chasing down the bad guys and uh, big elaborate sets, uh, but it's all based on reality, on truth, on, on people, real people on the front lines who make a difference. There's no ignoring this anymore. There's no avoiding it. It's going to be one of the more difficult issues globally to correct. It just has to be something that we, as a, as a world of caring individuals, of moral people, say no to and really get active about it rather than just deploring it but then walking away. For me, the greatest movie that I've always watched is about truth and is about life and it's about reality. If you want to watch a movie that has truth, honesty, passion, and also entertains you at the same time while it moves your heart, then go see The Trade of Innocence. This movie is about life. I think this film could be an excellent tool to help in the fight against the commercial sexual exploitation of children. If you're doing what you've been made to do, you'd be the happiest person ever. And, and you know, you don't have to be a movie director. You could, you could be just a mom doing what you're supposed to be doing, that's the happiest thing. And, and you're affecting change, ripples that uh, make a change in the world, that uh, it's very important and significant. Just seeing this movie is a step in the right direction. The producers and director and writer, cast, all came together to make something that feels important.